All right, this is the Boys Down Bad podcast, and we are super excited to welcome on another Nebraska football recruit, Roger Gredney, to the pod. Roger, welcome on, man. Sir, how you doing, Roger Gredney? 2024, first commit. We love to hear it. Thank you so much for coming on, man. Um, What has life been like since you committed? Has it been crazy? Well, since I committed and been to the campus and been able to meet Couple of fans at a baseball game and see how it is, how they come up to you and ask for autographs and stuff. You know it's big because I never had nothing like this. So being able to experience this, it's a lot, and it means a lot. So can't wait to get up there to the campus. Absolutely. What has the impact of Husker Nation been on you so far? Have they been uh, just nuts? Yeah, man. Like. Coaches, you know what I'm saying? The players is all I love, the fans, they all treat me like family, so that means a lot. Yeah, they're excited yes, for you. It's awesome to see. Um, so we like to go back to the beginning with uh everyone we interview. Was it always football for you growing up? Did you always know you wanted to play in college? No, actually, when I was little, I played a lot of sports. So I played basketball, football, soccer, baseball. So I played a lot of sports. I never really knew I was going to get offers or nothing because, you know, I came up from, like, bad south out of Louisiana. And at first it was hard, so I never had good grades or nothing. But when I moved to Texas, you know what I'm saying, my grades got better and stuff. And I just started playing sports, and I was good at all of them. So then I was running track, and then my recruiter, um, Christian Rico, one of his friends told him about me and he pulled up to my school or he pulled up to a track and he had family race of uh, two four stars and I had beat one of them and got Satan. <laughs> so then he sent it to some coaches and he was like, man, this kid fast. So he put on my film and then that's when I got my first offer from uh, Texas Tech a couple of days later, I want to say, a week later, maybe. Yes, sir. When was did you do you have a specific moment when you kind of knew football was the route you wanted to go down? Because, like you said, you're kind of a track star too. Yeah, once I once I start scoring, taking back key returns, I knew that's kind of hard for like just anybody to do. So I knew I had some type of talent. So once I got that offer, I said whatever I can get an offer in first. That's what I'm gonna. That's what I'm gonna do. So then after that, you know, I just just been training, working real hard on technique and getting better and stuff because I missed five games last year because of my hip surgery. So now I'm just recovering and getting ready for the season. How's the hip feeling? It feels way better. Good. Love to hear it. Yeah. So what has your experience been like playing uh, high school football in Texas? It's way different. That's why I tell you. I'm in Louisiana. (laughs) They take it more serious kind of over here. So, you know, it's – it's a lot of better people too. Also, it's a lot of people that are really good at it. So, you just gotta be ready for any and everything. So, I feel like it's it's way better down here though. I like all the seven on seven stuff. And I think since I moved down here, football been way better. Yeah, hundred percent. You hear a lot of stories about Texas high school football, so it's cool to talk to guys who actually kind of experienced it. Um, can you take us through your commitment story to Nebraska, uh, how you actually got to be a Husker? So um, it was um, Sunday after church. I decided to call Coach Omar, and then we get to talking. He said he seen my film. I'm like, okay. And then next thing you know, you're like, what do I got to do for you to commit? <laughs> so I was like, shit, just give me the offer, shit. Gave me the offer. That was my biggest one. That was that was the first Big Ten offer. So I was like, I'm gonna take it. You know, I kept my recruitment open up, but after I visited and the coaches, the energy and stuff, I was like, I think I'm gonna just stay here. So was there a kind of a big debate with another school, like, or did you always know that it was Nebraska once they hit you with that offer? But at first, like before Nebraska, when I didn't have it, I was finna commit to um, UTSA just to hold something. You know, it was like I only played five games coming up to my senior year, so I needed something just to commit somewhere just to have an offer in case I don't get it. So I was going to commit there. Then he told me, 
that I had to, he had to see me work out. So I was like, yeah, all right. So, and then I've been going to U of H. I didn't see him like six times. I'm like, why you ain't offer me yet? So I was going to go there, but then, yeah, I had got some more offers at SMU and Sam Houston. I'd probably say if I didn't, uh, if I didn't, if I had SMU before, I got um, UTSA or Nebraska. I probably went there. But ever since I visited Nebraska twice, it's been nice. Coaching is okay. crazy. Yeah, you, it seems like you got a lot of uh, in-state offers, a lot of Texas schools. Did anyone else offer you outside of Texas besides Nebraska? Yeah, um, school called North Campbell University. I think it's something like that. But I, I feel like I was going to get more. I was going to get more, so. Yeah, for That's sure. That's why I was waiting at first, so. I was like, I might as well take this, you know what I'm saying? No need to be picky. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, so what was really, like, the recruiting process like for you? Did you enjoy it, or was it just kind of, like, a tiring process and you just kind of wanted to get it over with? Yeah, first time I ever started getting takes from colleges. What day was it? The day they recruited class of 24? Then my phone started blowing up. Schools like Utah, Nevada, Duke, um, Notre Dame, all those schools hit me up. Some of them hit me up, and I ain't never heard from them again. So I was like, but once I started getting all that, I was like, I just felt like I was going to get an offer soon. So I was like, that's when this thing is getting real. So, yes, sir. For sure. Uh what was your favorite part of the recruiting process? Do you have a specific moment you look back on? You're like, oh, this is pretty sweet. Like visiting the college and getting to try on the uniforms. That's yeah. so fun. <laughs> That's pretty fun. Getting to see the college and what they do, how they train, how they live. It's pretty different. So I just got to be ready. For sure. What were your uh, initial thoughts on Coach Rule when you first met him? He's a great guy, so... Great guy. I had a cracked a little joke with him. I told him he looked like uh, Paul Bart, the Mark. <laughs> <laughs> You're not wrong. And yeah, we was laughing and stuff. And the second visit, we went and sit down in the room and then he explained it's going to happen. So, you know, get ready and be part of the family now. So, when you get there, it's straight work. So, you know, I'm ready. What kind of made you want to commit so early with being a 24 you know recruit why why commit so early well from where i'm at it's a small school and don't nobody really notice us like nobody know about rice consolidated but they probably do now because we on youtube and stuff but nobody really knew about us and i was the first dude in a while to come out of there with a big 10 offer and have, have the grades because we got a lot of good athletes and they don't have the grades. Because we got a lot of good athletes. I got sophomores as some dogs. The running back, wide receivers. My sophomore wide receiver had 900 yards. My running back had 1,000 rushing yards. Sophomores. Well, we got we to gotta so get like, them. We got some tap. I know, man. I told, I told them about them. They got to get their grades up and they be good. Most of them, yeah, they get in there. So. We got some with good grades. I think they just need it. They toughen up a little bit more, they'd be good. Obviously, you're a stud kick and punt returner. Um, do you know what your role is going to be yet at Nebraska? Are you going to stick to special teams? Are you going to play a little yeah, wide so They um proved me like a utility player, so I'm an athlete. So they was thinking special teams, DB, and then Coach Rue was talking about running back, so we're going to see him. <laughs> Yo, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, is there anybody you really try and, like, model your game after? No, nah, not really. I just, I got people in the NFL, but, you know, they inspired me to make it. But I really, shit, I look up to myself because I did this myself. What's it? What's the mindset of a special teams guy going into college? Because some guys, you know, they think, oh, I'm just going to be on special teams. You're not out there all the time. Um, Like offense has a full series. Defense has a full series. Yeah. What's, what's the mindset of a special teams guy? Well, I just know, like, anytime. I'm getting ready to take a kick back with a kick return back or a punt return. 
I'm catching the ball and I'm thinking I got to score. So I'm going to score however I can. And then especially in college, I know there's a lot of other people that's already in this position. But, you know, I figure, like, we all got something different we can do. So I figure when I get back there, I'm going to do something different. And I'm going to score. So. I got one more question for you. A little chance to pump up Husker Nation a bit. Um, what is Husker Nation getting in Roger Gradney? Husker Nation. Like I said at first, I love the fans. I love all the love they showing and all the support. And hopefully when I get there and do something, I'm going to get there and do some different stuff. I want to change the game. You know what I'm saying? I want to be the first, play at least three or two positions, you know, more opportunity to get into the NFL. And once I score and stuff, I want all the fans. I can't wait for all the love they're going to show me. I want to hear the loud crowd and when we play, so I'm ready. You bet. That's an awesome answer. You fired me up a little bit. That's awesome. Uh, what's harder, kick return or punt return for a touchdown? What's harder? Mm. Well, score more kick returns, so. <laughs> I wouldn't say I wouldn't say neither one of them harder. I just say you got to do it. You just gotta do it. Yeah, that's great. Good answer. Sweet. Well, Roger, thank you so much for coming on, man. We really appreciate it. Uh, we can't wait to see you on the field on Saturdays here soon. Yes, sir. You bet. You bet. Go big red, baby. Go big red. Yes, sir. Go big red. <laughs> see you later, man. Thank you.